Today we are at a school that is um, set up for children that have physical and mental disabilities. When you think about life, do you think very hard? It's a school in a township and it was built back in 1962. We bring in some Lego today. It's not the normal small Lego, it's the Duplo pieces because these children have very serious gross and fine motor problems and we have to give them the right tools, the right manipulative so that they can touch and play with it. We've also brought um, some educational material content and uh, lesson prep uh, so that the teacher can actually use the material in a more constructive way. And so it's not just a case of dropping the material and going away, it's about working with them, developing the teacher giving them ideas. So we could also do training with the teacher at a later stage. Drop the box here with me in the grade six class and then you can go off and help the other children as soon as we... Hello guys. Hi, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Okay, so we've got lots and lots of pieces inside these boxes. You guys are gonna play with it and sort it out for us. Are you excited to find out what's inside this box? Yes. Yeah, me too. I wonder how many pieces, how many pieces? The only way to find out is to open the box. Who wants to open it? <laughs> Millions. Oh, let's hope so. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's put some of these on the table. Let's see what we've got inside here. Wow, this is a big box. Do you want to have a look at what's inside? I think the best is put the box on the floor and then you can pick up the Lego and put it on your table, okay? Wow. Come and find out what you can play with. Wow, what is this? Pixar. A horse. If you have a look at the kits that they're working with, you'll notice that they're not just blocks or pieces, plain blocks or pieces. There's a real mixture of pieces, and that's because this is a Lego charity set. And the charity set has all sets, a mixture of all sets. And um, even though it's a mixture of sets, the children are still able to work out how to put something together. So you'll notice here, for instance, even though this isn't a real train, they've actually just placed blocks on top of each other to make what looks like the train. So they're still using the imagination, they're still creative, they're still coming up with their own ideas and solving problems using a charity kit. So the kit has a huge educational impact. We also use this kit um, for, for language development. So you'll often find that the children don't know the English word for some of the for some of the pieces or for some of the animals. So for instance, if I ask the children, what is this? It's a donkey. A donkey, are you sure? Have you ever seen a donkey with no. pink hair? A puppy. A puppy. Yeah. No, not a puppy. What do we call it? Horse. Looks like a horse, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. But you've never seen a horse with pink hair either, have you? Yeah. No, so it must be a very special type of horse. Yeah. Yes. What, what, this manual is called Back to Basics with Bricks. What we're trying to do is give the teacher very simple exercises, five to ten minute exercises that she can do on a daily basis with the children. And just like Brain Gym would help them you know, develop the brain, this is more of a tactile type gym where every single day they touch and feel and manipulate the objects yes. so that it helps them with that fine and most greater development. Yes. Um, so these are very simple exercises. Um, the teacher doesn't have to have a huge background to understand it. Mm -hmm. The teacher can pretty much just read what the exercise is about, find out what questions need to be asked to the children and it's also progressive so that the teacher can start with a very simple exercise maybe with three bricks and over time develop it to four bricks to five bricks to six bricks so we're doing um, we're developing perceptual literacy and numeracy skills with all of these exercises okay. 
Well done, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to be going now. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Have fun and enjoy your Lego, and I'll see you soon again. Okay? All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, teachers. Bye-bye.